Hi there, YouTube. Uh, it's AC Dodd uh, here again. I'm um, just working on a 59D4 Dizzy. Uh, and in fact, it could be a 45D or a 59D. It doesn't really matter. But um, one of the things that uh, can happen is the um, cam uh, retainer, uh, which holds the cam onto the Dizzy shaft, um, has a habit of coming loose, especially if it's been removed a few times. So... Um, with that in mind, uh, I just thought I'd show you a little modification uh, which can be done. Uh, there's nothing new here. This modification has been done uh, for years by other companies um, uh, in performance applications. But it's uh, particularly pertinent if you are um, taking apart your dizzy and you pull the distributor cap off and then you grab hold of the rotor arm and then all of a sudden you find out that the... Uh, uh, the whole top half of the uh, cam assembly comes loose from the uh, spindle. Anyway, I'll show you what I mean. Okay, here's a uh, 59D that I've got in for working on at the moment. As you can see, I've stripped the unit down. Um, but uh, what I wanted to show you was uh, the modification in which to um, be able to make a more permanent and more rigid, uh, reliable fitting uh, to retain the end of this cam on this shaft. Um, if you can look in there you will see that there is a little plastic collar. Now, I've pushed this one on, but if I just pull that, you will see that that will come straight off. Okay? And inside is the little plastic clip. Now, that plastic clip uh, is okay when it's first put on at the factory. Then if you take it off and put it back on, you will find that it will wear out and it becomes looser so eventually when that's clipped over the end although it'll clip on it's easy enough to pull off okay so the problem with that is it becomes unreliable especially uh, if you've got the end on and the rotor arm in place which goes on the end you pull the rotor arm off and the whole thing comes up and bends all your springs that are on the bottom so yeah it can be very annoying uh, and one of the uh, easiest ways to fix it is to um, modify that we cut the end off and we put in uh, a nice screw thread and then we change it to screw retention so the first job is to use a hacksaw and remove the nipple on the end So, next up we square up the cut end with the bench grinder. Okay. Get the shaft in and get it centered. Okay, first operation is to uh, center drill the end and then we'll drill it. Next operation is to drill it. Ready for an M4 tap. Little bit of lubricant. with an airline.
no lubricant. This is um, only mild steel. I believe it's E and H steel. It certainly cuts like E and H. It's very dry, nice and fast. and about three quarters of an inch length. So now we're done with that one. We put the spring loaded center in. And we can tap it out. the appropriate size. Nice bit of lubricant and just wind that in by hand. get to the bottom we need to clear the threads to make sure we've got no swarf in blow out and then we go straight to the bottom You could run the chat backwards if you wanted to to wind this out to make it a bit quicker, but uh, I'm not going to bother for the video. And out she comes. Spring over the centre out, spin her up briefly, run down, and chamfer. Done. A little bit of blowing out. There we go. And you can see nice thread in the end. Lovely. Okay, so with the unit back loosely assembled, you can see the new thread in the end. We're going to take um, a 10mm M4 pan head screw and we're going to use uh, a washer flat washer and a spring washer I should say it's shake proof washer and we now screw that in right to the bottom nice and tight you can see the screws in there nice and free moving a little bit of M flow but not too bad and much much better i think you'll agree way of returning retaining the cam on the end excellent